here. Uh, for those of you who were not here when we introduced ourselves, my name is Gwendolyn Haley. I am Mary Ellen Brax. And we are librarians from Spokane County Library District over in Washington State. And let's see, between the two of us, we have about almost 40 years of experience working with children and libraries and literacy. Um, we both are proud mommies yes. of children who are getting increasingly too old to call us mommy. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so a lot of the things we've done in our, we're gonna share with you over the next couple of days are things that we have done in our professional life. Uh, Mary Ellen has a background in early childhood education and has worked in a number of public libraries. I worked in both public libraries and also as an ESL teacher. And uh, between the two of us, we have tested these with children in libraries, in classrooms, in our home laboratories with our own children. And so it's really just such a privilege to be with all of you today. Um, before we get completely started, though, I have a couple of little activities we're going to do. How many of you remember uh, watching Sesame Street as a kid? Do you remember the game? One of these kids is doing his own thing. Take a look at this picture. One of these kids is doing his own thing. One of these things is not like the other. So who can who would like to tell us what they see that's different? Let's go. Yeah. One's standing up. One is standing up, and the other three are sitting down. What else? One's a cat. Yes, that's right. Three of them are mere cats, and one of them is merely a cat. <laughs> so, I've been saving that. <laughs> and I, one of our co-workers said, you're not really going to use that, are you? And yes, you did. Thank you. I'll go back and tell her so. So we're going to play that game a little bit, too. We're going to how do you get into a group and kind of spend a little time getting to know each other. But it's also um, a science activity because we're going to do a little sorting and classifying. And the way we're going to do this is an activity we call unique and shared characteristics. So in a group of about, I wasn't sure what the tables would look like, so I'm going to say about four to six people, so ignore my six to eight. Really what I mean is four to six <laughs> people. So turn around. I'd like you to um, form a group, and then you're going to select someone who's going to take some notes for your group. And then I'd like you to identify qualities that you all share, shared characteristics. But as you do that, I want you to think, um, you think things that are not immediately obvious. So we can move beyond physical characteristics. We can move beyond we are all homo sapiens. We can move beyond we all have hair. <laughs> we all have eyes. Um, and identify some qualities that you all share in common within your group. And after you've made a list of maybe you know, three to four things, I'd like you to identify some unique qualities that no one else in your group shares, something that's uniquely you. And Mary Ellen and I are going to take the opportunity to go and insert ourselves into one of your groups. And we're going to take about five to ten minutes to, to do this and just kind of get to know each other, but also see what we can identify that's unique and share. Okay? And I'll leave this slide up here so you know what we're doing. So. I'm going to come join these ladies. Okay, great. Thank you. So now I'm going to put you all on the spot. And I'm going to ask one person from each group to come up here. Because Mo, Media Mo, would like to get you um, so we can share. So if there's a brave soul who would like to volunteer, otherwise I'll just pick you. <laughs> My group wants to do it. I know they do. Thanks. Okay. Um, 
we all have the same qualities of we have all chosen a life of public service. We all love children, and we all are moms, and we all love children's books. Now, the unique qualities, Melissa lives in the community she was born in. And, how do you say her name? Philomene. Has no allergies. How awesome is that? <laughs> wasn't supposed to live past one year of age. Wow. So, and she is currently celebrating her 29th anniversary. <laughs> Karen has five grandkids and for the clincher. Ready? Uh, Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wendelin. share a few things from their group. I won't do every group because we, we don't want to take up a ton of time. So, But if you volunteer, I won't pick on you later. Oh, yay! Come on up! <laughs> Just like that. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, we're all females. We're all very healthy. We have a passion for children. We're physically active, which that's a good thing. We're all born in Montana. We're all readers and walkers and pet lovers. And we know the importance of having someone that you can talk to without getting talked back to. <laughs> um, we're late night coffee drinkers and water vacations are our favorite. Our unique qualities, Amy, just took a trip to New Orleans and realized that June probably wasn't the best time to go with the conference. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful on runaway youth. Steph has a 97 pound golden retriever that was the runt. <laughs> and Linda would rather cook than go out to eat. I <laughs> One more group. Did I see? Oh, wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> there, that way you're not in the spotless. I know. It's okay. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Um, our group all live in Poplar. Where the hell is Poplar? <laughs> okay. Um, we all share a passion for children. We're all mothers. We all have at least one son. We all like physical exercise. We're all chilly in this room. <laughs> um, we all like to garden. We all like to read. We all like music. And we all like sports. Um, our unique qualities. Um, Jordis was a firefighter for 20 years. Uh, Stephanie was a grizzly cheerleader. <laughs> Judy has two sons, actually three sons, but one son uh, has served six deployments overseas. Her other son has served two, both in the Army. Uh, Marge teaches yoga, uh, and Mary Ellen was born in England on Mendenhall Air Force Base. Did you want to that share? Enough. That's enough for now. But hold on to those. I, I'm just curious, did you, as you heard from the other groups, did you find some things that you had in common with other groups that you thought, oh, yeah, raise your hand if you found them. Yeah. And were there any unique characteristics that you said, actually, that's me too? Anyone? No? Wow. So what we did was a little, a little, uh, a, a 
lesson in um, sorting and categorizing because of course when you put things together you put things together either by their unique uh, by their shared characteristics the things they have in common and you divide them and separate them out based on their unique characteristics and that's basic classification which is your big long science word for the first half hour classification 